Uh, uh, I wish I still had all the stuff I made when I was a kid. I made so many shitty, like, Pikachu fan games, I remember. Did yeah. you really? Yeah. Tell I, me about I, them. I used click and play all the time. <laughs> Tell me about them. Uh, I'd have to remember. I made, yeah, like, remember. a Smash TV clone. Go down uh, memory uh, road. Go down there. Please. Jillian, you said you tried making games, right? Oh, in, in fucking stage cast, yeah. yeah. stage cast. It didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I would constantly get uh, fucking frustrated that, you know, I couldn't do more. It because was it's, so bad, it's stage not, cast. It's not a good game-making thing. Does anyone remember stage cast? No, what the frick is that? Uh, how would you describe it, Julian? It is a beginner's in five-year-old children uh, level, like, game-making software. Wow, really? Uh... You can program in, like, actions to happen, but only in really, really like, specific circumstances. Limited, and, yeah. and, like, each action can, like, only one thing can happen at <gasps> a time. I remember him. He's cool. Yeah, you get to see your friend, Chris. Yeah. Uh, only one thing can happen at a time, and it takes, like, a minimum of a second between each thing. Wow. It's, uh... It, it, w it was not good. If you're Think of like Beyond's built-in movement, <laughs> if you remember it, yes, with its I grid do. system. I do. God, Space Station 13. <sighs> you ever played Scary Game? No, I never played that one. Uh, do you know what it is? No. It's spelled with an E. Scary e game. It sounds scary. Uh, you're all in a mansion. Tell me if you've heard of this concept before. Mm. Some people are randomly chosen to be a traitor. And you're supposed to try to kill everybody else without them figuring you out. That's kind of like Space Station 13. But this was from like 2001. Like this is way, way back. Or maybe 2002 is around the same time as Space Station 13. Uh, and it's actually a pretty fun Beyond game. It's actually a good like, it's a good time with a big group. Yeah. Uh, they have like booby traps all over this mansion that you can run around in. You have tools you can use. So you can put like glue on the floor to get somebody stuck in place. Yeah. Uh, it's actually really fun. There are some fun games on Beyond, like if you go back and dig around, but it's pretty limited. Space Station 13 is uh, probably the shining example. I think Space Station 13 actually genuinely ruined games for me. Why? Really? Because you can do too much. Because you can do so much and have so much fun in it's it. It's crazy, isn't it? It, it? it's the funnest fucking game on planet Earth. Like, it blew everybody's minds when it came out just because how much you could do, how open it was, how creative you could get thanks to that. Yeah. You could do the most elaborate shit to people in that if you just wanted. You could have insane crazy stories every single round. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's never going to be the same experience. Yeah, like, uh, it's just perfect. But, like, I, I think it also proved that I, I definitely have, like, ADD or something. I, I, I can only play a game if there's a fucking ass load of shit you can do in it. It's because you want to get creative. Yeah. Yeah. I, and by yeah. that, I mean you want to fuck around. <laughs> exactly. I love trolling people in it. <laughs> it's a really You're thing it's about like, shrinking the guy gradually. Exactly. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay. I used to do this thing in Space Station 13, or you can only do this if you're an admin, but it, it doesn't really actually affect their it's game. It's under the edit function. Yeah. You, you. So if you're an admin, you can right click on other people playing and you can just fuck with them. Like you can literally, in, in Space Station 13, you can edit admin every menu, variable. You can right click on someone and say, give disease, like Spanish <laughs> flu, and then they'll just start like coughing and like they'll just die halfway through. Like, obviously, you shouldn't do that, and I don't do that, but my favorite thing to do was you'd right click on someone as they're running around having fun you'd, you'd uh, go to variables resize and then I type in 0. 0.9 so they'd shrink a tiny bit and they'd be like oh what the fuck and then they, they keep walking around and you just keep slightly shrinking them so they don't notice till there's a point where like wait a minute why am I so small what's going on <laughs> it's like the funniest shit ever I mean I remember that like that's what you wanted to do in Minecraft when you were playing you you liked the idea of floating around and being a, a trickster god I like being a ghost <laughs> striking people with lightning continuously <laughs> <laughs> and promising them that you won't, and then do it anyway. <laughs> exactly. Look, yeah, I'm a pa okay. I'm a piece of shit. I get <laughs> no, it. No, it's entertaining. It's fun. It's just video games. It doesn't matter. I would never do it to someone who that had something to lose. What was I talking about? Video games. Oh, Space Station 13. Yeah, it ruined games for me. So did Dark Souls. One. But then, what rekindled your interest in video games again? Uh, literally, I nothing. Oh. I, yeah, I like, that's a problem. That makes sense. I like playing all of the old games I enjoy. Like games that still, like, still haven't mastered and there's a high skill ceiling and you can still go back and try to improve, blah, 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 blah. Oh, like Panic. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> no. game requires a lot of skill. 
Uh, I like racing games. I like drift or not drift. I like uh, distance. Racing games are a lot of fun. Yeah. And people are making some cool attempts at like uh, recreating old arcade racers and their aesthetic. I'm trying to think of new games that came out recently that I enjoyed because I know there is a few. Hitman, Hitman 3. That's a game that like is, you can be creative as hell. You do whatever the hell you want and it's fun. Do you still hit men? No. I freaking love hit men. What kind of stuff can you do? Can you tie people's legs together and then swing them around? No, I wish you could do that. You can throw screwdrivers at the people's faces. <laughs> do they get stuck? Yeah, they die. <laughs> it's really funny. You can, uh, you can literally pick up a soda can and throw it into someone's face over and over and over while they're lying on the ground. You know what I can compliment right now? Uh, worms Armageddon. I love Worms. Because yeah. Worms Armageddon specifically, with how open it is and everything being just... You can make your own assets, you can do whatever the fuck you want to that game, just customize the shit yeah. out of it. Worms will never get old, ever. And all the weapons, there are so many of them, and so many of them are just creative, that you can just go nuts with that game and always have a really good time. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's just infinite content. It's also really interesting how you can make... Uh, a level for you know you know how in games they'll give you a level maker and yeah even though you make a level it still won't be that good because you're not a fucking game designer yeah in worms in worms are again no matter what you draw it will make no, for an it's interesting completely match true. yeah and you can kind of figure it out right away that you're like okay wait i i already understand this right here this guy's armpit that's where you're gonna probably spawn in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's things like that like it's so easy to work with yeah i remember when i was a kid in high school that's what we did we had a land party everybody was playing dota just getting pissed off <laughs> i brought worms armageddon we switched over to that at the end of the night and everyone was just making their own maps and sharing them because yeah. it's just so easy to do the worms armageddon is like one of the best games ever they still update it. It's crazy. Yeah, they I saw, still do I, that. They put out a huge update last year. They added uh, interpolation. Yeah, that was really crazy. I didn't think they would do something like that. Like they even made a neat little advertisement for it. Team Seventeen, thank you so much. Yeah, that was we, my favorite game growing up, and you guys are still supporting it. Yeah, we love ooh. Team Seventeen, we love ooh. Team Seventeen, we love ooh. That's another Simpsons. <laughs> I remember. Is it? Yeah. Are you uh, not? Are you actually not making no. a direct what, reference? What is that? Homer says that into the, Maggie's ear every night. <laughs> that's when the <laughs> the Furby things are melting, and they they repeat that. Do they really? Yeah. We love ooh. Yeah. No, he says it once. He are says you sure? One. Yes. He says we love ooh. He yeah. says I love you, and he goes eh, and he falls over. Oh. I remember. <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a long time. That's because it was the later seasons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I've never gone back and rewatched anything after season like nine. It was it was really sad. I remember when I was a kid because I loved The Simpsons growing up, Me too. and I remember when those episodes were starting to air. The ones like Bart being in a boy band. Yeah, I remember being twelve and being like, "This sucks." <laughs> that was when I stopped watching. I caught a few episodes later on, but nothing ever made me really want to watch it again. That's why I'd be curious about like, I, like I said previously. There are people who say the new seasons are getting better. They, sometimes they, just, they get better and then they get right back to being worse again. It's really, it's like a weird... Tell me what a new episode is that did get better. I don't know. I, I have not seen oh. one in years that it was good. Okay. But I don't watch it, so I don't know. We watched a Halloween special, like one of the recent ones, remember? They're fucking hot garbage. Yeah, he didn't like it. That's what? They had a Jurassic Park... I saw that people. so bad. <laughs> All the old people. Oh, that's so funny. They turned into dinosaurs. Have you played, mm -hmm, have um, I played Among Us? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, you actually? When did that happen? Like last know. year. Oh. Uh, no, I think it's fun. Uh, it was interesting because it came around the same time as uh, when Fall Guys was starting to catch on. Mm. And I remember that. A lot of people, specifically, we had a friend who was telling us that they felt like Fall Guys was really going to be the big thing for a long time and everyone would be supporting it, but then Among Us kind of caught on and just overtook yeah. it completely. Isn't that crazy? It's really nuts because it's an older game, too. I know. Isn't it weird a, how... A meme game managed to shatter another meme game because they came around it's the same time. It's crazy how, like, one of them could have come out last year and then this one, you know, like, they both came out at, like, the same time, pretty much. Well, not the same. You, you know what I mean? They both got popular at the yeah, same time. It's really interesting for that because usually these, like, games that people super get into for a while and then kind of fades away... Uh, those usually go through cycles first. They don't just immediately line up like that. Mm. That one fat hops into the next one. Yeah. Because those games are, like, 
fun in their own regards, obviously, but it's also the idea of everyone hopping in at the exact same time and adopting it and it becomes something really big for a while. Yeah. Uh, Among Us, I also don't think it's unfair to call it a meme game because literally the meme is just saying Among Us now. That's, <laughs> that's the meme. The, the, yeah, the, or just the music. What, the dun, 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 yeah, that, that's what web humor's devolved into, oh, is just yeah. saying the name of something. <laughs> I mean, we did it too. We did Simpson, and then that's all it was as a concept. That was the joke. <laughs> did you see the Family Guy thing of Among Us? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was definitely green. That's not real, but no, no it's yeah, really it, convincing. But it's, yeah. it's a, it's they did a good job. Super convincing. Yeah. yeah, it made me laugh. <laughs> but like, I couldn't get into Among Us because Space Station Thirteen. It, it is Space Station Thirteen. Yes, yeah, so it's whatever. very reduced, simple. It's, it's like. But there are a lot of games that also play like it too. No, no, but here's the thing. I think it's genius, right? Because nobody, nobody can get into Space Station 13. You have to literally train somebody to get into it. Yeah. So they, they like nobody wants to learn it. But Among Us is like 0.1% of Space Station 13's mechanics. So like anyone can jump in and play it. But I mean, that's the appeal too, is that it's so simple as a game. You could port it to other devices. It could be on your phone. A bunch of yeah, people no, could just it, get together and I, do it. I think it's genius, but I just can't get into it. I also, I, I hate the busy work mini games that they have. In it, it tears friends apart from what I've seen, which is really baffling to me. Yeah. Because I would hope that people are thinking of it as a game and not like super getting into it. Because I've seen people do that where they're like, yeah. I won an Among Us. It's like, it, what? It's not an eSport. It's, yeah. Are you, oh, what just happened? I should have asked you to get you before me. Did you just smash the DS? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Julian, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Wait, we cut the audio of it. <laughs> he he knocked the switch over. Julian. Julian. Can I say two things about Among Us? Uh huh. The first thing is that I fucking hated how the title because no. they're not Among Us. No, I hated how insanely popular it became because for, for just like a month or two straight, it's all anybody wanted to play. And uh, two was that it always devolves into the, in, into the same shit every single round, and it gets old really fast. I will say it does seem like there's only a few different things you can really do. I've always seen people play it out in uh, very similar manners but over I and over and over again between genius. different friend circles. Yeah. But, uh, like I said, the thing about people taking it way too seriously is really bizarre to me, because I've seen that with no, people. No, yeah, you should not take it seriously at all. I've had friends tell me that they've had, like, friend circles get into fights over these kinds of things, and it's like... I don't know, it, it's... it's a game. Uh, I know I bitch about games a lot. I, I realized why I bitch about games a lot. Why? Is why... Uh, is, uh, it's, uh... Is why I... I it's I... I, 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 why, I you know, why I... It's because, um... I definitely have something in my brain that when I pick up on a pattern of something that annoys me, I can't let it go. Now, Chris, what? How much of the world would you say annoys you, percentage-wise? Like, thirty-eight percent. It's pretty bad. That's pretty generous. I'd say like seventy. <laughs> seventy percent of the world annoys you. So, like the the mountains and the deserts and the flowers and the trees no, and the breeze and the sand. Generous too. That's the point. That's I'd the, say about eighty percent. That's the stuff that I do enjoy. Well, maybe you need to go out and do the stuff you enjoy more. Hmm? Okay. Hmm. We have been. We're playing Digimon. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point. That counts. Unfortunately, this is a part of your 38%, isn't it? This game. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not into this. Sorry. Is it making you mad? No. I is can, it making you peeve? I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad you Baby like it. Baby gonna cry? No. Goo goo gaga? No. Mm -hmm. I hope the viewers are enjoying it. The viewers are all, like, holding up pitchforks right now. <laughs> They're saying boring. If I get to see War Greymon, that will be my peak. <laughs> I'll go, yay. That's it? Yeah. That'd be the response. Just, ah. yeah. I want to see him walking behind you really fast. He will. You can get him stuck on walls. I hope he's like 50 feet tall. He is. He's big. Good, good, good. <laughs> That's a start. That's <laughs> a start. Yep, yep, yep. What's this bitch's freaking deal? She's always telling me something. Why is she making the equalizer like explode? Because <laughs> she's constantly humming. Hum. She's vibrating with motion again. I can't stop vibrating with motion. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's better than vibrating with motion? Motioning with vibration. Vibrating with lotion. Yeah, mm. I'd agree. Yeah. It's not that bad. Because after like a minute, something happens. <laughs> 
Go on. I can't explain it, but it feels good. Go ahead, tell me. What is it? It's kind of like a feeling, and you can't control it, but the more it comes, the better it seems. <laughs> He's telling this to the policeman. Yeah, he looked really concerned. <laughs> policeman, I feel an urge. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking pervert. How many encounters have you had with police officers, Chris? A few. They've well, always been nice to me. What was the nastiest encounter? Literally, I haven't had one yet. I've I've probably had, like... 10 encounters and they've all just been like oh okay that's yeah. good like uh when we used to walk to sleepy cabin at like three in the morning uh, we were on a street where there was lots of police activity because they'd be driving up and down all night and they saw us go into our office and they knocked on the door and they'd just be like what's going on here we're just like um we we make cartoons and we, we're kind of night owls why did they show up <laughs> they, they did at like three in the morning yeah they, they followed no, us. No, I mean, like, yeah, why did they show up specifically? Because they thought we were breaking into an office late uh, at night. I've always been really nervous uh, about cops, but I've never... If I was you, I'd be nervous. You look like a fucking psycho, dude. I understand that. People stare. Like, I get it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a normal boy. I don't think so. Okay, you do look kind of fucking sick. What the fuck sick. about these things? You look sick in the mind, I'll, I'll admit it. I remember him too! <laughs> do you like this one? I like him, yeah. What do you think about his political views? Um, As long as he doesn't force them on me, I'll still be his friend. Okay. I actually do like that design a lot. He's fun, isn't he? Yeah. Why do you think he has like a bird beak? He's It's kind of like a dolphin nose. Ow, that fucking hurt! Do you like his weird birdie... Uh, I was gonna say bendy bird. You're gonna say beak. bird eating grin. Aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's got a bird eating grin. Chomps their little heads <laughs> off. Does he evolve into a bigger frog with a bigger tuba? Yeah, he honk, does. Honk. Does he evolve into a bigger does frog with a bigger ability? tuba? Does he keep that ability? What? Uh, when he evolves. Which ability? The one you just used. Uh, some of them. I don't remember. Because every, every Digimon has, like, a specific move Yeah, they attached have, like, a them. signature move that you can't teach to anything yeah. else. What does it do? Yeah, what's special? Does it just do, a, like, set amount of damage or something? Oh. Uh, sometimes, like, you can you can read these. Okay. Uh, I, have, I don't have a lot that do, like, any <laughs> secondary <laughs> effects. Yeah, just use poop. Use poop. Just use poop. It is pretty good. Ha! <laughs> It may even kill him. Why was his poop pink? Because Digimon yeah, shit is pink. Yeah, it's Digimon poop. That's not they human. They shit pink? Human mm -hmm. poop. It's Frank and I play Digimon World, and they do shit, like, brown, so you're lying. <laughs> that means their diet is uh, <laughs> Yeah, imbalanced. they're not eating right. Really? You might want to take them to a duck, or... Pinky poop! <laughs> <laughs> That's my Digimon. Pinky poopamon. What's the longest Digimon name, do you think? Uh, Can you think of one, Julian? What's a really long Aurora one? Aurora Borealamon. <laughs> I, uh, probably, I don't know. I'm sure there's... No, Chris, because... you could still amp that I up. Was you could say, attach Mega to the beginning of that. <laughs> there are... The, I was going to say, like... Um, Mega Metal Aurora Borealamon. What's it called? Uh, I was going to say Apocalmon, and then I remembered, like, oh, no, that... Like, they add, like, suffixes now, that there's, like, there's, like, Form D and, like, shit like that. <laughs> form D? D. There's a form four... D. Oh, it'll okay, be so stuff. there's a four D it'll in be Digimon. Like random fucking descriptors like that. Stinky Mon. <laughs> Digivolve too. Drinky Mon. Drinky Mon. <laughs> Drinky Mon's the best one. Uh, what does he do? He drinks uh asbestos. Liquefied. <laughs> and what does it do for him? He gets cancer. Which he drinks. <laughs> Why are you giving me such disapproving looks? Please be nice I, I'm to just, me. I'm trying to figure out your concept here. What, so, does he, what does he look like? Uh, a straw. <laughs> with eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> like a bendy straw? Uh, his arms are bendy straws. His head's one normal straw. Okay, so he's like a, a bendy straw dinosaur. Yes. Okay. And... He's worthless. He has three Japanese symbols on his tummy. And what do they stand for? Hope, uh, depression, and annihilation. And they light up depending on his mood, right? <laughs> it sounds <laughs> accurate to me. Yeah. yeah, no, it's actually getting there now. Now that you flesh this out, it's starting to sound real. Drinky mon. 
Uh, and and he has uh yeah he's he's a uh, white and blue. I would imagine because he's a bendy straw. Yeah. yeah. Or white and red. Yeah. Or white, red, and yellow if it's a McDonald's bendy oh! straw. Oh! What? He has a little cocktail umbrella as a weapon. <laughs> There's someone singing. This is an old man. That? <laughs> 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 then he left. <laughs> Once he realized how stupid he was. I thought he was pretty good. I think she's pretty good. At being beautiful. Making her blush. <laughs> I'm making her blush. Crush? Yo, I'm Crush. I'm a turtle from Finding Nemo. <laughs> I'm sure many people find that character endearing, but he bugs the shit out of me. Crush? Yeah. Hold on, little dude. I think he just ran through, what, like 70% of his lines now? <laughs> He's not there for very long. Yeah. Don't you like his kids? They're all like him, but smaller. They it's, say, it's cute, Dude. you can put it in the trailer. Yeah. yeah, you have them speak the way that he speaks, but more awkwardly and higher pitched. I like Finding Nemo. I like Finding Nemo. Finding Dory on the other yeah, hand. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was about to phrase it, I like Finding Nemo too, but I don't want to <laughs> give the impression I care for Finding Dory. Nah. Hey, Ellen Degenerate, no one likes ya, you stupid fish voice and bitch. <laughs> It's because he said. It's because he said fish voicing. Yeah. 